low blood sugar that is hypoglycemia is a very common condition encountered by most of the diabetic people and this condition is a very very problematic do you know what are the reason for having a hypoglycemia if not then stay tuned with me because we are going to discuss that in today's topic namaste my name is dr tanvi mayur patel i am an endocrinologist hormone specialist doctor from mumbai india now before i begin this video one important information if you want to watch this video in hindi language then on the i button and in the description box there is a link if you click on that link then this video will be played in hindi language for you agar aap is video ko hindi bhasha mein dekhna chahte hain तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे नाउ हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया इज अ वेरी कॉमन कंडीशन हैपनिंग इन द डायबिटिक पीपल एंड देर आर प्लेंटी मेनी रीजंस फॉर दैट वेल व्हाट इज अ हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया आई हैव मेड अ सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर दैट सो यू कैन वॉच दैट वीडियो नाउ दिस हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया और लो ब्लड शुगर कैन हैपन टू एनी However, diabetic people are more prone to that. It's not that that people who don't have a diabetes cannot get a hypoglycemia. Yes, there are plenty many medical conditions which can cause a hypoglycemia even there. But we are not going to discuss that in our today's topic. I have made a special video for that where we we will be discussing about the hypoglycemia in a people who do not have a diabetes. today's topic is all about diabetic hypoglycemia means people who have a diabetes and when they encounter hypoglycemia now what are the reasons behind that now see hypoglycemia one episode can leave a lifelong impression and a memory in your mind and one incident of hypoglycemia can have a very bitter experience in a person's life also and the hypoglycemia is one of the most common side effect of the diabetes treatment and this condition is not new that is the reason why it is very important for you as a diabetic individual to know in depth about the hypoglycemia now what are the reasons behind that see reasons are plenty many but the most common reasons are a food drug and activity mismatch what we call it is a fda mismatch now let's elaborate one by one so very first point is a food see throughout the day we keep on eating some of the other food and this food gets converted into glucose and it is this glucose who is the main energy source for us so if you are not eating correctly of course your glucose level will go down it is a most common sense so if you are going to do a mistake in your food you will have a low blood sugar now what mistakes so first if you have skipped your meal many people have that habit that they don't want to eat and they skip their meal okay so if you skip your meal your sugar levels will go down suddenly you are eating less than your usual meal okay that is also one of the common reason of a low blood sugar third condition is that you are eating a uh, carbohydrate free meal now that is a very common uh, eating fad which is going on nowadays people are going no carb or zero carb so when you're not going to have a carbohydrate in your diet you will have a higher chance of getting into low blood sugar at the same time in order to lose weight many people have started going into intermittent fasting and a detox or in no food diet so if you are going to have such a intermittent fasting wherein for few long hours you are going to remain in the fasting state and you are going to eat food only for few hours so when you are going to do intermittent fasting especially if you are on a diabetic medications you are putting yourself in a very big risk of going into a hypoglycemia another condition is a prolonged fasting now this prolonged fasting can be because of any reason it can be even due to religious reason especially during the ramadan people uh, observe fast for a long period of time also fasting can be because of certain medical conditions now sometimes when you have to undergo some blood test or some kind of a testing your doctor might have asked you to remain in a fasting state 
again if you are undergoing a some kind of a minor surgery or any kind of a medical procedure wherein a doctor has advised you to remain nbm that is nil by mouth again you are increasing your chance of having a low blood sugar many people also have a habit of having a very erratic food pattern now this erratic food pattern is very common in a small young children especially who has a diabetes type 1 because they have a lot of they are either busy with the playing or they are having a fussy mind and they don't want to eat certain kind of food so when they are having a erratic food pattern or even the elderly person and a working class of a people especially when they are working and they are too busy with the work they want to think that okay fine i'll eat after some time so if you have such a erratic food pattern again your chance of getting into hypoglycemia increases so this is a very first condition which is a food mismatch now let's talk about the second mismatch that is a d d stands for drug that is medicines now medications of the diabetes they work in a way so that they are going to reduce your blood sugar that is how those medicines work so if you are having any any kind of a drug mismatch again you are prone to have a hypoglycemia so what are the drug mismatch now the drug mismatch is usually of a insulin and the oral hypoglycemic medications most commonly sulfonylurea and meglitinide class of our medications okay so let me elaborate the sulfonylurea class of a medicine is a most commonly and routinely prescribed so in this class many medications comes like a glimepiride glipizide glicazide gliburide glibenclamide these are commonly used drug in meglitinide the most commonly prescribed medication is a repaglinide so these all medication are going to reduce your blood sugar and can increase you having a hypoglycemia again the hypoglycemia risk increases more if you are taking these medicines along with the insulin all right there are many medicines which is used for the diabetes which do not cause hypoglycemia on its own unless and until you mix it with some insulin or sulfonylurea class of a medications so these medicines are like metformin again most commonly routinely prescribed medicine alone it will not give you low blood sugar then we have a sglt2 inhibitor drugs then we have a glp1 receptor agonist and these are the sir and a dpp4 inhibitor class of a drug wherein we have all the medication like citagliptin then vildagliptin linagliptin all these medications alone alone will not give you low blood sugar so if you are having a drug mismatch you can have a low blood sugar so what kind of a mismatch the most common mismatch happens is a wrong dose or a double dose especially this happens in a more elderly people so elderly people when they take a medicine after some time they forget whether they took medication or they didn't took medication and in that forgetfulness they repeat the dose double time so when you have a double dosage your chance of low blood sugar increases again especially when you are an insulin user so if you are going to take a wrong dose of the insulin your blood sugar increases again this happens in a children and in elderly people wrong dose of the medication can also increase especially elderly people when they have a visual impairment they can't read the numbers of the insulin doses correctly and by mistake if they dial more dose you will tend to have a low blood sugar at the same time if you are taking a wrong type of insulin again very common mistake among elderly people and in children wherein they might be prescribed two three types of insulin short acting and a long acting insulin so if you are going to take a insulin wrong type at a wrong time your tendency to get a low blood sugar increases another low blood sugar problem which happens in insulin users is that they have taken the insulin and after taking the insulin their food gets delayed this happens more commonly especially when you're going out for a food especially in a restaurant either you have not got your table on time or you ordered the food and the food took time to get delivered and all of that can delay your expected time of eating food and that can also increase your tendency of getting into low blood sugar so this was a second that is a drug mismatch third condition is a a that means activity mismatch 
So activity means any kind of a physical activity. See, the moment we do any kind of a physical activity, our blood glucose will start gets utilized. And of course, it is a common sense that your sugar levels are going to go down. So suddenly, if there is a change in your activity pattern, again, your risk of low blood sugar increases. So let's assume you are never doing any kind of an exercise. Suddenly, you start an exercise, your risk increases. Secondly, you are doing exercise every day, but suddenly you increase your duration or your intensity of the exercise. Again, your low blood sugar risk increases. Example, you are doing 20 minutes exercise every day. Suddenly, one fine day, you do 40 or 50 minutes exercise, wherein you've utilized more energy and your low blood sugar happens. Sometimes, when you're doing unexpected physical activity. Now, this specially happens if you are, let's assume you are going in a market or you're going to a mall or you've gone for a banking work. Suddenly, you have to do some more exertion and that can also increase your or low blood sugar unexpected uh, low blood sugar can also happen if you are doing especially nighttime walk many people have a habit of walking after dinner sometimes even a sexual activity at night utilizes the energy and can also cause a nighttime or a nocturnal hypoglycemia another reason is that many times many people forget to take a pre-exercise snack and if you have done that, then also you can have a low blood sugar. Many times, most of the people, it is advised that you please check your blood sugar before you do any kind of a physical activity. And if before starting the exercise, if your blood sugar were already low and you did not take a exercise snack, so your chance of having a low blood sugar further increases. Also, if you are doing an exercise at the same time of the peak of the medicine action, either insulin or a sulfonylurea class of a drug, when their action is at peak and at the same time if you do an intense exercise, no matter even if your dose was correct, you can have a low blood sugar. So these are the three most common reasons of a low blood sugar food, drug and activity mismatch. So, if at all you have got a low blood sugar, ask yourself this question first. Did I eat less? Did I skip my meal? Have I taken a wrong type or a wrong dose of a medication? And is my exercise or physical activity was more than a routine daily basis? And if your answer is yes, you also got the answer of your question. Why did you get a low blood sugar? But let's assume that all of these questions answers were no, you ate as routinely as possible, your physical activity was routine, you did not make any mistakes while taking medication and still you got a low blood sugar, you inform your doctor immediately because it might be possible that we might need to change your prescription so that we can prevent you from a second episode of a low blood sugar. But FDA mismatch remains the most common reason for the hypoglycemia. Right now, let's see besides this FDM mismatch, what are the other causes of a low blood sugar? In that, the very first is a thyroid imbalance. Now, whether it is a hypothyroidism, wherein your thyroid is working less than the requirement, so what will happen? Your metabolism slows down. So, your glucose energy absorbing will also get affected. Or you have a hyperthyroidism where your metabolism is super fast and your body is burning out all the glucose very fast. So both this condition can make you more prone for a hypoglycemia. Second condition is if you have any kind of a kidney problems. Now again a very common problem in a diabetic people especially when the duration of a diabetes increases and if they have a long term uncontrolled diabetes complication of the kidney disease increases. So what happens if you have a kidney problem the glucose reabsorption which happens by kidney will be compromised. Also all the medications insulin and the oral medications what you take they get excreted and thrown out by uh, thrown out by the kidney but if your kidney is not working properly again you will have a low blood sugar third is a problem of your liver so liver is a very important organ because all the excess of the glucose gets stored in the liver in the form of a glycogen so if you have any liver health problem the glycogen storage will be compromised and you can have a low blood sugar 
so these are the another three common reasons Besides that, if you have a habit of having an alcohol, especially along with the alcohol, if you have not eaten food, your chance of getting into hypo increases. Also, if your body has undergone any kind of a uh, in, any kind of a chronic illnesses, long term illnesses like a tuberculosis or a malignancy, again your risk increases. If your body is undergoing any kind of acute injury in the form of an infection or any kind of a surgery, your response to the stress reduces and of course you can have a low blood sugar. Besides this, there are certain other conditions wherein if you are having a nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loose motions, you can have a low blood sugar. During the menstruation, during the monthly cycle, a woman can have a higher chances of going, getting into a hypoglycemia. Type 1 children, especially when they are going through a puberty, wherein there are a lot of hormone shift happens, so at that time also they, their chance of getting into hypoglycemia increases. Along with the diabetes, if you have other hormonal problems, especially that of the pituitary gland which is located in our brain region and the adrenal gland which is located on top of our kidney. So when you have a pituitary and adrenal gland hormonal problem, also your chance of having a hypo increases and conditions like a panhypopituitarism, adrenal insufficiency or a growth hormone insufficiency, all of these hormonal problems can also increase a low blood sugar. Another condition is a malignancies or a cancer or tumor, especially along with the diabetes. If you have any tumor of a pancreas, which is the organ from where you get your insulin and the glucagon hormones, if there is a problem over there, insulinoma kind of a cancer, again your risk of hypo increases. Your risk of hypoglycemia also increases if you are traveling, especially at a higher altitude, at a hill station risk of hypo increases. Many people along with the diabetes, they take a certain other medications like allopurinol, probenecid, which is usually prescribed for a uric acid imbalance. Then also hypo happens. Warfarin is another drug which is used in a diabetic people, especially if they have a heart conditions. So all these medications can also increase your hypoglycemia risk. By the way, what all medication can cause a hypoglycemia, I have made a separate video on that. So these are the most common reason or the causes of a hypoglycemia. Which are those people who have a more tendency of having a hypoglycemia? I have made a special video for that. So you can watch that video so that you will have a more detailed knowledge. Thank you for joining me till now and if you have got some good useful information after watching this video, please click on the like button. And if you are new to my channel and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that you will get more and more health related information. And then there is a bell icon. If you click there as in when my new video will be published, you will get an instant notification. And if you have any question pertaining to your health, whose answers you are seeking, you can leave your question in the comment box. I try to read them and answer them as early as I can. Hypoglycemia, as I told you, it can be a life changing experience. So do watch this entire series of the hypoglycemia for detailed knowledge. Take care. We will meet again in another video with some good important information and till then, Namaste.